So hey ladies, I wanted to go, I wanted to go live, but then I would have to put it in all the different groups, so I'm going to just post this video, but it is, the last time I looked at my phone, it said 311, so it's probably a couple of um, minutes after that, and this is about what time I actually normally go to bed. I'm fixing to try to start doing it around 1230, so that I am getting up earlier in the mornings because I feel like I'm missing a lot of y'all by not being up earlier. But my natural internal clock has always been, um, it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. I feel like, bing, I'm finally awake. But my body will naturally wake up around 10, 1030. Um, so I don't know. I don't, I keep trying to force myself into more conventional time frames because of everybody else's life but um but that's just the way I've always been it's the way my dad is it's the way one of my biological daughters is so it's actually the way most of us are in this household except for my husband bless his heart like nine o'clock and he is snoring like crazy but the reason I wanted to come on right now was to show y'all that it's close to 3 30 in the morning um I did actually get up earlier than normal today. I got up around nine and I shower like every other day because it, um, I've started, yeah, menopause, premenopause is just wonderful. I've started, my hair is naturally oily, but now it gets really dry back here and gets itchy. So if I'm washing it every day, it doesn't do as well because of that, but then Anyway, you'll, I'll digress and go into just all the issues that go along with premenopause. So, I just wanted to show y'all that I'm still in my cami. It's been on since around 9 o'clock this morning and is on with me until now 3.30 in the morning. That this is even a heritage, it's a current um, style that we have and pattern. So if y'all love the animal print, I had never been an animal print girl until Ruby Ribbon. And they come out with so much of it. And you know, it's like the more you're around it, the prettier that you think something is. And so, yeah, so I've become an animal print girl. I was always a camo girl. Always. I wore camo before camo was cool for girls. And I uh, used to get picked on in school and stuff for it, actually. So, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that it's the real deal. I really do wear these sometimes 24 seven. Um, sometimes I will just shower and put another one right back on. I do typically sleep in the second skin, but if I'm depending on what my sensory issues are that day, sometimes the compression feels really good. The heritage line is one that's um, firmer. And so it is level four, but it's a uh, extra firm four. So when I do y'all's cami fit forms, a lot of times if I put them on there, I'll put them after your petals and after your um, posies in the lingerie bag just to delineate that I wish that you would try the ones above that first and then try the second. The original, the pinup, the ultimate, the lace, um, some of those, they've been around a lot longer and they are fours, the Athena, they are fours, but they ha have a little bit of a gentler hug for a four, especially the Athena. It is a level four that's made from the level two second skin material, and it's very smooth and creamy. So to me, it feels more like a three or a three and a half, even though it is a level four like I've done measuring and stuff. And so it's just, it's more the texture that makes it feel like, I'm sorry, the reflection's really bad in my glasses. I just noticed that. Um, but the texture of it makes it feel like it's not being as compressive when it is. So the heritage and let's see, the Empress is a five. So of course it is a tighter hug. But some of the other ones that we have come out with, they are firmer. And so I would rather you start um, with a little bit more gentle and then we'll know if you're going to be okay with these. I want you to have the same great experience that I had. I don't want the first experience you have for you to be like, oh, it's too tight or 
I, this feels just like Spanx to me. It should never, 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 oh, I shouldn't have said their name. I'm sorry. Um, it should never feel like department store shapewear. It should never feel that way. But if it does, call me, text me, send me a carrier pigeon, whatever you need to do to get in touch with me, whatever is most comfortable for you, because it should never feel that way. And it's crazy that you just, my dogs are in here snoring and sleeping. So if you hear the groaning and all, that's them. But, um, so if you feel that way, it should not feel that way. And it's crazy that the fit and placement of these, that you can move it an inch sometimes and it's going to feel so much better. It's also going to feel more and more comfortable. Like it should be comfortable from day one. But if it's not to you, just know that it's going to become more and more comfortable. Like when ladies come and try on with me, um, my, I'm pointing over there because my sample rack is over there. But when they come and try on, some of those are mine. And so they've been worn or they're my daughters that I'll go and borrow hers to have more of a variety for people to try. Um, or I've borrowed them from sister stylists that live close by. But, but I also have some that they have been tried on a good many times, but they've not been worn. Like there's no way this body is probably ever going to fit in a 38 or something like that. Like I'm at the upper end of the spectrum. So even if I lost a hundred pounds, I'm probably still going to be like a, well, maybe I would be a 38. I could be a 38 or a 40. But anyway, I don't think that I will be. I don't mind my curves. I just want to be healthy. So, um, so anyway, that when y'all come and try those on or I bring them to you to try on, if they've been tried on a few times and I wash them every time after somebody tries them on, they're going to become naturally more soft through that process. So they're always going to be a little bit different than what you have originally tried on if you tried those on with me. So I uh, hope that you will give them a chance. I tell everybody, just try one. That's how um, my sponsor hooked me. And she was so right. It was one of the best decisions. It was one of the best decisions professionally, personally for my child. Um, I don't ever want to come across salesy because I'm not a natural born saleswoman. I had a hard time as a therapist asking people for payment because I felt like I was profiting off of their pain. And as a trauma and abuse therapist, they were in some of the worst pain anybody could be in. So I hated that. I always prayed for a job that I would not have to ask, you know, or to, to have people to have to come and pay me that I guess I just wish that like money would plop down and magically <laughs> happen in my bank account and that I could just, cause I loved my career. I loved it and I would have done it for free if I could have afforded to do so. And same thing here. I would, because I love, love, love working with y'all. I love y'all getting to have this relief. I love having ladies pop up in my VIP group and post testimonials about their new purchases or I'm using those in a, one of my parties right now where I just went back and uh, took screenshots of the pictures that she had posted and some of the comments that she had made. And she's not having to flash um, like a strap or stuff like I usually do with my hostesses. I'm like, if you're not comfortable showing your whole torso, then just like when you've got your shirt on, just pull the strap up and show the ladies that you're at the grocery store and you got your cami on because the hostess's testimonial of how much they love it is always going to mean more to customers that know you or know of you in your party than me. Somebody, they may want to believe me or y'all may want to believe me, but it's still better when it comes from somebody that you know or have a relationship with, which brings me to, and I'll finish up, um, which brings me to, I do want a relationship with y'all. If you see me friend requesting you, it's, just that I want you to be able to come check me out and kind of get a re not that Facebook is the real deal or what, but I'm pretty much the same all over. So, um, I love Jesus, but I cuss. So <laughs> that's probably the biggest thing that I have that maybe other people wouldn't expect. But other than that, 
you know, pretty much what you see is what you get. And because of my previous career, you can pretty much ask me anything. I'm comfortable with talking about everything with everybody because of that. So thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you so much for participating in the party. Um, if the timing's not right for you now, just message me that and say, could you touch back with me in six months and I'll put you on my calendar. Um, the timing isn't right for everybody all the time. So thank y'all so much. I hope y'all are all having wonderful, sweet dreams and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.